Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to play with the memory features on the Zygu G90. And if you uh, have been following my videos, you'll know I like the radio, uh, but I don't think that the uh, user face is very intuitive. In fact, I really think in the next firmware, can it even be done in firmware considering the buttons are kind of locked in place? I guess there's not a lot you can do about what the buttons do or where they are placed. It just doesn't seem like there's a lot of thought given to it. Nevertheless, let's see what we can do with the memories on the Zygu G90. It's a little tricky, and it took me a while to figure this out. It certainly isn't clear in the manual by any stretch of the imagination. So with some digging around, with some uh, internet sleuthing, some other videos, uh, the Zygu G90 cheat sheet that I got off the G90 Facebook and so on, I think I have it figured out. Let's find out. The first thing to realize is that it has 63 memory channels. You can write any frequency on the dial. Is it a dial? It's a dial. Any frequency displayed, you can write to one of the memories. The trick is, though, you can't write to any of the memories unless you write to memory channel 00 first. You got that? So if you haven't even touched the memory shed and you say, hey, you know what? I think I'm going to put 28350 into memory channel 3 because I like channel 3. It's not going to let you. It's going to say, well, you've got nothing in memory 00, so therefore you can't put anything else in until you do. And once you do that, then you can fill up the memory channels to your heart's content. Okay, we're sitting here at 28350. And needless to say, at 8 o'clock at night, I don't think I'm going to hear much on 28350. Nevertheless, what you do is you just simply press the MWMC button for memory, write memory clear. Wherever you are, just press it. And you'll see CH02 or 01 or something will come up. Tune to the memory channel you want by dialing it with the Zenob here. You have to start with 0, 0. If you don't have anything in 0, 0, it's not going to do anything else. Okay? You notice this little E right here? Can you see that's an E? That means it's empty, which is great because it means you can write a memory to that location. Simple as can be, you're at 28350. Let's say that's the frequency you want to write. You haven't done anything yet. Press the button again, and you are now... Uh, 2350 is now in channel 00. And you can find out how that worked by pressing the VM button, which stands for VFO or memory. Now, see what happened there? CH00 is at 350. Fine. I hadn't changed it before. But notice that tuning the dial doesn't do anything. And the reason why is because it's only going to let you dial between channels that have something in it. So if you have nothing in the channels except for the first one, zero, zero, dialing this little guy in channel mode isn't going to do anything. Is this thing complicated? Maybe a little overcomplicated. Okay, press the VM. Get back out of that. Now you're back into VFO mode. All right. Common calling frequency for 10 meters is 28400. So let's just dial up there to 28400. Come over here. Hit the MW. Now, it's flashing 00, except there's no little E next to it. And that means that that is not an empty channel. So you have to tune the dial. Boop. You go to the next empty one, or whatever. It's got an E right there. That means it's empty. But notice I can go to any empty channel I want. See, I'm going up there. That's where I can start deciding where I want to put things. If I go down to zero, zero, it doesn't say E. It's not empty. And you have to clear it first. All right, the first thing we're going to do is save 28400 to memory channel 1. Press the MW memory write button, and you are there. I'm going to put in one more frequency into channel 2. So let's go up to 28425. Why? I don't know. I just like that number. 
28425, press the MW, dial up to 2, notice it's E for empty, press memory right, and you're in business. Now, let's say you want to recall one of those. Go down to the VM, go into the channel mode, tune the dial until you see the one you want. Now watch this. If you see it says CH00, okay? CH01, 28400, just what I wanted. CH02, uh, 4, 425, just what I wanted. There is nothing in channel 3, so it goes right back down to channel 0. So any channel that is empty is not going to be in the rotation since I only put in a couple of channels, three channels. I only have three to select from, starting at zero. Okay. Now here's the fun part. You can't just push the VM button to assign it. There's where it gets really weird. If anyone knows why this is the case or I'm missing something, let me know. If I want to recall channel 0, 28350 from wherever I was, I have to push the function button once and then the AB switch. Come back off of function and I'm in there. I'm at 28350. If I want to go back to the VFO, just push that and you know, I can dial around as it were. If I want to go back again to 28350, I press the VM button Pick the channel, where it is, press Funk AB, turn Funk off, turn off the V or M, and I'm at 2350. 350. So that's what is annoying, is that instead of being easy and relatively simple, it's overly complicated. However, in the next video... Once I put in a whole bunch of frequencies, I'm going to start fooling around with this from the microphone because the microphone operates a little differently. So from the panel, you have to go through buttons and pushes to get to where you want to be when it should be just easy. Now, finally, if I want to erase memories, what I have to do, hit the function button, press the MW until I find the channel I want. Notice that if the channel has a frequency in it, it's red and it's blinking, basically saying, don't do this. Well, push it again, and you emptied it out. Watch this. Now we're going to channel 01. Push it again, and you've cleared it out. Same thing again. Channel 02. Push it again. You've cleared it out. How do I know I've cleared all them out? Watch what happens when I press VM. No memo. No memo. <laughs> you didn't get the memo. It's because I cleared out all of the memory channels. So there is no memory in the memory. So that is the convoluted way in which you deal with memories in a Zygo G90. And... Um, I don't find it intuitive. You get used to it fast, but it's an unnecessary lot of buttons to push. Again, go to the, uh, the channel you want, press the MW. Remember, the key is you have to do channel 00 first before you can put any other memories in. And you can only put in memories where the E is there for empty. Press it again, and you've done it. To get rid of it, you press the function button, Oops, that was good. Uh, hold on a second here. All right, push it again. Ah, there we are. Go into the function button. It says channel two has a memory in it. Push it again, and it doesn't anymore. Go to the VM, and I have one channel, channel zero, zero, still in there. And how I know any one, because Dialing does nothing. I only have one channel. To select that, I press Funk, AB, turn Funk off, and I'm either in channel mode or I'm in VFO mode. Does this make any sense? It makes sense to me, but it took a while. So I'm not real happy about this. 
It's not a deal killer with the radio. Great little radio. But the memory functions need to be improved. Anyway, hit the subscribe button somewhere, wherever heck it is. And next time around, we're going to get even deeper into this little magical wonder. Okay, thanks. Talk to you soon.